While visiting a city as old and historically significant as Cairo, Egypt, it's easy to get lost. It's actually one of the largest cities in the world and one of the oldest. That's why we've put together this video on the best things to do in Cairo, Egypt. So keep watching. The Great Pyramid of Giza Without a doubt, a visit to the pyramids is at the top of anyone's Egypt bucket list. When you cross the river into Giza, you'll immediately be taken aback by the marvelous sight of the centuries-old structures that Egypt is most famous for. In fact, the pyramids have been around for a mind-blowing 4,500 years. The pyramids were originally constructed as burial monuments to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. The undisputed most important pyramid within Cairo's borders is the famed Great Pyramid of Giza, which is also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or Cheops. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid is the only one that still stands. While it would certainly be awesome to see the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Great Pyramid is far from being a consolation prize. For more than 3,800 years, it was the tallest man-made structure in the world. Today, it remains a towering iconic symbol that will leave you speechless. Close to the Great Pyramid, you'll find other iconic structures such as the Great Sphinx, the Pyramid of Khafre, and the Pyramid of Menkari. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. The Citadel One of our favorite places to visit in Cairo is the Citadel. For one thing, it's one of the few car-free places in town. It's also one of the best places to enjoy a view of the city that stretches all the way to the pyramids, that is if you visit on a clear day. The Citadel was constructed on top of a hill by Saladin, the ruler of the city, in the 12th century. It was built with the intent of protecting the city from crusader attacks. There are a few different points of interest found within the Citadel's walls, including three mosques, the Police Museum, the Egyptian Military Museum, and the Al Gawari Palace. The area is worth devoting at least a half a day. It's nice to take a break from the city traffic, and very few tourists actually make their way out there. The locals all tend to be fairly friendly, and Egypt in general is known for being a very hospitable place. That being said, as you might have seen in news reports, extremism has resulted in some tragic incidents in recent years, so keep that in mind. Egyptian Museum Here lies the world's most extensive collection of Egyptian relics and artifacts. When visiting the museum, be on the lookout for the solid gold mark and sarcophagi of Tutankhamun. The royal mummy's room is equally impressive. While strolling through the various exhibits and rooms, you'll see everything from ornate statues to priceless jewelry and various other pieces of historic treasures. A visit to this museum typically takes guests around two or three hours to see everything. The Egyptian Museum can be found at Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo. Muhammad Ali Mosque and Sultan Al Nasir Muhammad Ibn Ka'ulan Mosque Muhammad Ali Mosque's twin minarets are some of the most striking features of the citadel. They're visible as soon as you approach the area from downtown Cairo. When visiting the citadel, a visit to this mosque is a highlight. The alabaster-covered courtyard, elegantly carpeted interior, and warm lighting suspended from the ceiling make this destination one of the most inviting in the Cairo area. Nearby is an equally impressive mosque also worth visiting. The Sultan Al Nasir Muhammad Mosque is much older than the Muhammad Ali Mosque and it's arguably a bit less ornate. Even so, it features a greenish blue dome, arched interior, and limestone walls taken from the pyramids. Islamic Cairo The historic heart of Cairo is undeniably Islamic Cairo. The area, which has been deemed a UNESCO World Heritage Site, contains one of the most extensive collections of historic architecture and art in the Islamic world. Countless madrasas, tombs, fortifications, and mosques that date back to the Islamic era of Egypt can be found. That dates back to between the 7th and 16th century CE. Islamic Cairo is jam-packed full of fascinating and enriching things to see and do. You can find it near the city center, and if you want to see everything, it would take you weeks. For most people, however, just seeing the area's highlights should be more than sufficient. Al Muiz This street has a much longer name, but most call it Al Muiz for short, and it's one of the oldest streets in the city. It runs directly through Islamic Cairo from north to south and contains some of the most historically and culturally significant monuments in Cairo. The street is about a kilometer long and runs from Bab Zuela at its southern end to Bab al-Futu in the north. 
it can be quite busy and almost always is congested with heavy foot traffic. For some travelers, it can be a bit overwhelming. But along your walk, you'll find many shops, markets, mosques, hammams, and madrasas. A madrasa is an Islamic school or university and is usually adjacent to a mosque. Hammams are a Middle Eastern type of steam bath used for cleansing one's body. South of Bab Zuela and Al Muiz Street is another must-see destination. Tent Makers Market is a 300 square meter street full of shops and stalls that sell everything from blankets and textiles to linens and tents. If you keep walking south, you'll see produce markets and various other shops in Islamic Cairo. While walking around Al Muiz Street, be sure to try the street food. It's delicious, and for very little money, you can enjoy a meal that rivals that of anything you'll find in the finer dining establishments around town. Khan El Khalili this famous shopping market can be found right off of Al Muiz Street in Islamic Cairo. For the most part, it's filled with touristy souvenirs and low-end merchandise, but even though you might not want to spend too much money here, the cultural experience of engaging with all the merchants and locals is worth a visit by itself. Coptic Cairo Coptic Cairo can be found in Old Cairo at the southern end of the city. The very first settlements in the city date back to the 6th century BCE. Many of the places to visit in this area are tied to Egypt's Christian past, but you can also visit the first mosque built in Africa as well as several historic synagogues. The Hanging Church, also known as St. Virgin's Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church, is famous for being one of the oldest churches in Egypt. It's located above a gatehouse of what was known as the Babylon Fortress, the Roman fortress that could once be seen in Cairo. Of all the churches in Cairo, this is the most famous. Another church worth checking out is the Church of the St. Sergius and Bacchus. It's traditionally believed that the Holy Family of Joseph, Mary, and Jesus found shelter here at the end of their long journey into Egypt. The church's interior is beautiful, with detailed tile and woodwork in addition to numerous works of art. The Coptic Museum houses the world's most extensive collection of Coptic art. It's the only thing in Coptic Cairo that isn't free to visit, but we recommend stopping by if you can. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Cairo? Do you think you'll ever go? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.